Hello, this is Lisa Speaker with day 22 of our 30 day challenge. Uh, it's a Saturday morning and I have a friend with me in the car. Hopefully he doesn't start barking if he sees a dog walk by. Today we're talking about reply briefs. And even though reply briefs are not required by court rule, um, they're certainly permitted if you can file them within 21 days. And in our office, we always like to file reply briefs. We find it very helpful um, to, to make sure we itemize the factual inaccuracies that are contained in the other side's brief, and also to respond to legal arguments or cases that the other side um, relied on. And we find it especially helpful when it's time comes time to prepare for oral argument that we've made that effort to file the reply brief earlier in the case. Um, a couple of key things with reply briefs, um, they're limited to 10 pages. So we often find ourselves in a situation where we have way too much we need to respond to. We have to work on cutting it down to keep it to the 10 page limit. And the other thing is you cannot do a stipulation to extend the time to file a reply brief. However, the Court of Appeals will generally accept a motion for up to 14 days. Um, and that's under the internal operating procedures. That 14 day grace period by motion um, doesn't apply to custody cases, of course, because in custody cases you have to have good cause for any kind of extension. So hopefully those are a few helpful tips for you to remember as you're drafting your reply brief. Have a great weekend.